in this lesson we're going to continue on with the hello script that we were using in the previous lesson but we're going to update it a little bit so that we actually have something coming up in the 3D viewport. So this one we're going to call hello 3D world. So if we run this it doesn't do anything different than what we already had but we're going to change that. So what we need to do now is have access to the Maya commands. So to do that, um, we will do it similarly to what we did with the SYS um, commands. We are going to do import maya.cmds and that should give us access to the Maya commands. The Maya command that we are going to want to use in this lesson is the um, curves, or sorry, uh, they are the text curves. And if we run it like this, even though it gives us the blue um, text here that shows that it's reading it as a Maya command, it's actually not going to run it. The reason is because just like with the system command that we have here, we have to add the Maya commands at the beginning. So we can do maya.cmds.textcurves. So that will run it, we just need to give it an argument. So anything inside of these parentheses are arguments which basically tell this function what to do. So I can tell it that we are going to create text and the shortcut one way to do that is T and then equals and then we give it the text inside of quotes. So we're gonna say hello 3D world. Let's try running this now. And we can see that it creates the curves for the Hello 3D world right here. So that looks a lot better now. And then um, right now if we were to render that, we won't see the curves by default with Maya's renderer. So we want it to give it actually some surface. Um, Something else that we'd want to look at is the maya.cmds. Is if we're going to write a whole bunch of commands for Maya to do the maya.cmds. Um, whatever the command is, it can take a lot longer, especially if you have hundreds or thousands of lines of code. So um, a little shortcut that I use a lot here is that we can tell it that we're going to import it, but we can give it a shortcut name. So I'm going to say as MC. So that way, when I write the code, now instead of writing all of this that we have here, we can just do mc.textcurves. And let me open up the outliner and I'll just delete all of that. So if we run this, we'll see that it does the same thing that it did a moment ago. And um, just with a shorter line of code here. Okay, so now the next step would be to add the planar surface to it. So we're going to add that command here, mc.planar surface and basically if we're running the code here we can see that we get the curves and it leaves the selection at the end of that line of code so if we were to well let's run all of this code right here so if we were to run the planar command right after that, you'll see that it uses that previous selection and it planarizes the curves. So that is what we're going to do with the whole code together. We run it all at once. We can see that it creates that for us. Um, another nice command that we have access to, 
or um, argument, sorry, is going to be the name. So we can write the whole word name, or we can do n equals, which is the shorthand for name. And we can say that maybe the name is hello, hello, 3D world text. We can do uh, better yet, geo. There we go. And then we got to close the quotes. So let's delete all of this and run it again. So now we can see that that geometry there is going to have the name hello 3D world underscore geo. And then from this point, we can um, do extrudes, poly extrudes, and things like that, and make this much more interesting. But this is the basic to get a renderable 3D piece of geometry inside of the Maya viewport. So that is it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at how to use more of Maya's commands and looking at the different arguments that are available and use that to learn how to create general perimeters inside of Maya and um, placing them throughout your scene. So we'll see you guys in the next lesson.